preschoolers! I am at Cook's Farm and Greenhouse. This is where we were going to come on our field trip this week, but because uh, they've asked us to stay home and not congregate in groups larger than 10, um, I thought it would be fun to do a virtual tour. So here we are. I was going to do this outside, but it is freezing cold out there. <laughs> So we're going to go in in just a minute and I'm going to show you um, some things in the greenhouse, some really cool things they have here. Okay, today while we're at the field trip, you're going to want to get out this greenhouse scavenger hunt paper. It should be in the very back of your packet by your name papers and this is what it looks like. So today while we're on our virtual field trip to the greenhouse, you guys are going to watch for these things that are on your list. So the first one right here is a banana tree. The second one is pansies. Those are a type of flowers or type of flower. Um, this is says transplanter robot and I didn't have a picture of this one but you'll know it when you see it. It's really cool. Wind chimes, they might not look exactly like that right there but if you see any kind of wind chimes, you can mark that off. Dirt or soil. Um, geraniums, that's a different type of flower. Let's see if I can focus it here a little bit. A uh, watering can. So any type of watering can, it might not look like that, but if you see a watering can, go ahead and mark it off. And then an animal lawn ornament. So I put flamingos on here because those are my favorite lawn ornaments. But a lot of people like to put some really fun, cute, different things in their yards. Like you see any kind of lawn ornament, something that someone would put in their yard to decorate, you can mark that off. So right next to all these things are boxes. You can put a sticker there if you have stickers. You can put a smiley face with a pencil. You can just put a big X in there with a crayon or a marker or anything you have. So just mark it off and see if you can get all of the things on your list by the time the field trip video is over. Okay, you guys, this is what the inside of a greenhouse looks like. And you might have been thinking that we were going to go to a house that was green. And a lot of kids think that. But a greenhouse isn't a greenhouse or a house painted green. It's actually where they grow all kinds of green things all all year long so a lot of things don't grow in the winter time remember how everything kind of went dormant and the leaves lost their trees and grass started growing or stopped growing flowers stopped growing well in a greenhouse it keeps the temperature nice and warm all year round so that plants can grow even in the winter time look at all of these beautiful flowers they're all in bloom, ready to plant. It's still a little bit cold outside. It snowed this morning, so these plants can't be outside quite yet. But these are called geraniums, and there's all different colors. See if you can find the one that's your favorite color. So here at the greenhouse, they have a lot of really neat tools that help them plant hundreds and hundreds of plants. And one of my favorite tools that they have, it's actually kind of a robot, is this transplanter machine. And if you look right there, if you see all those little pointy things right in the middle, those will take out a little plant and plant it into a bigger pot. Because as the plants grow, they need more and more space to get bigger and bigger. So they need to get into a bigger pot. So this transplanter machine, I can't remember exactly how many, but it will transplant a lot in just a few minutes. It's really neat to watch, but they don't have it running today. So here at Cook's Greenhouse, they have rows and rows and rows of these cool tent looking things that are called greenhouses. And inside they have plants growing year round. They stay nice and warm inside. They have some neat sprinkler systems. Some have sprinklers that spray from the top and then other ones don't have sprinklers and they just water the plants by hand with a hose. So this is the inside of one of the greenhouses and you can see all of these 
tiny starter plants that they've started to grow. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of them. And then if you can see that long pole coming toward us, if you look closely, you can see water coming out of the bottom of those. That is a giant sprinkler system that's connected to the ceiling. And it's moving slowly toward us as it waters all of these baby plants inside this greenhouse. It's nice and warm in here and humid. That means there's a lot of water in the air. Look how cool that is. So they turn on the system, walk out, and it waters all of their plants for them. <laughs> Now it's going to go back the other way. Thank goodness, because I did not want to get wet. So here at the greenhouse, they sell lots of things to help you plant a garden, plant flowers. They have gloves and all kinds of seeds for flowers and vegetables and fruit. You can see they've got peas, corn, carrots onions, everything you could possibly want in a garden, and even some flowers. They've got all kinds of fun tools and pots. They've got all kinds of fun wind chimes. Here's some more really fun wind chimes. They come in all different kinds of shapes and colors. There's some neat ones up there. And look at all these fun little, oh, let me focus. Look at these fun little lawn ornaments. You can actually put these in your little potted plants or out in the yard. Look how cute these are. You see all the fairies and they have a little pond. All kinds of fun things. <sighs> Look at those silly owls. And the puppies and pigs. They've got bigger animals down here. Look at this cute little house. Oh, look at the gnomes. They're so cute. And the hedgehogs and the deer. <laughs> and look what I found. Can you tell what kind of flower this is? <laughs> if you guessed a pansy, you are right. Pansies are one of the strongest flowers. They can actually grow up through the snow. So sometimes in the spring, there's still some snow on the ground and pansies are strong enough that they can push up through the snow and still bloom even when it's still pretty chilly outside. And they come in all kinds of colors. They are one of the strongest flowers out there. I love pansies. So do you guys remember the three things that a plant needs to grow? Once you put it in the soil, it needs sunlight, air, and water. And look at all these fun watering cans. Look at that gnome watering can, fishy watering can. Like there's a little piggy watering can in the back there. So if you wanted, you could get a watering can or you can just use your sink or your hose in the backyard. But this will help you take care of your cute little plant. So here in Utah, there are a lot of plants that don't grow here because it's so cold. And they're plants that only grow in tropical climates where it's really warm year round. Like this is a hibiscus. You can see how beautiful these flowers are. They usually grow only in Hawaii and tropical places like that. So you'll see all these pretty red and yellow hibiscus plants. They're so beautiful. Another really fun tropical plant that doesn't grow here in Utah, but so warm in the greenhouse they can grow it here is a banana tree. So this is what a banana tree looks like. We don't have these 
outside in Utah because it's just too cold. So they grow in tropical places where it's warm year round. But here in the greenhouse, it's warm enough all year round that the banana trees can grow. And these don't have any bananas on them yet. They will eventually. Just wanted to give you a close-up look at these beautiful hibiscus flowers. They normally only grow in Hawaii. But here in the greenhouse, it's warm all year, so it gives them plenty of time to grow and stay warm. So this is where they keep all of their planting supplies, their pots. They have lots of dirt, soil. That is a special special mixture of soil. That has some really good nutrients in it for plants. You can see all their pots. You can see way in the back there a cute little wishing well that you could put out in your yard. That's really cute. Lots of pots, more pots and more pots. <laughs> so take a look at all of the things here at the greenhouse. This is the outside portion of the greenhouse and you can see they just have thousands and thousands of plants and trees and bushes. Anything you could possibly want.